friends, welcome back to my channel, Manvita Biraj. Friends, today I am giving you the information of the topic, how to find the time period of the following third question. So, before talking about the topic, friends, please like my video and share my video. So, let's talk about the topic now. So, here is the third question that is 850 oscillation for 3 seconds. So, in 3 seconds, 850 oscillation will be completed. So, for one oscillation, how much time is required? Now, let's find that. First, we are going to write time per. Is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillation. Doubts affecting your studies? Don't worry. Don't not say goodbye to all your doubts. Click the image of the question which you stuck on, crop the question, get the instant video solution in seconds. Beat any subjects, physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, on CBSE board and any other state boards for class 6 to 12, IIT, J, mains and advanced, NEET and government exam. Get the video solution of all your doubts in doubtnet. Along with this, be a part of India's number one online class where country's top teachers will be teaching all the subjects so that completes the whole syllabus. Each and every concept is at your fingertip. Why wait? Hurry, install .NET app today. So, the formula of time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillation. Now, let us write. Time taken is, that is 3 seconds. So, 3 divided by the number of oscillation completed is 850 oscillation. So, 850. So, if we divide 3 by 850, how much answer we get? That is 0 0.003 seconds. So, when we divide 3 by 850, we get 0 0.003 seconds. So, to complete the one oscillation, the time required is 0 0.003 seconds. Got it? So friends, this was all about how to find the time period of the following third question. So friends, please like my video and share my video. Thank you.